everybody, it's Casey the Rockstar Flipper. It's another beautiful Sunday in Central Florida. Welcome back everybody to the channel, to these YouTube videos. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I hope everybody had a wonderful weekend. I hope you sold a lot, made a lot of money. Uh, hope you made time to relax, have a little fun, enjoy the family, enjoy your significant other, whatever it is you did this weekend. Uh, I hope you made time for it in addition to working because this channel is all about making money and that's what's important when we're here on this channel. But you always have to make time for things outside of it. So I'm curious what you guys do on the weekends or what you did this weekend or what you got coming up fun for uh, the next few weekends uh, as the summer comes to a close, unfortunately. But the good news here in Florida, summer never comes to an end. We have the summer weather and the summer fun all year round. Sorry for everybody that doesn't live in Florida or lives up north where it's going to snow eventually. Alright, so let's jump into this video. Uh, I had a lot of great questions, a lot of great comments, a lot of great video suggestions, Q&As for next week. Thanks everybody for putting those in. I'm going to get them together again for next Friday. Uh, I think I've talked Kate into joining me for every Q&A Friday, which is awesome. I'll try to get her in some more videos. She's not camera shy, but she's a little bit. She's still kind of feeling it out a little bit. Um, she's actually a photographer by trade. She owns a photography business. She's really, really good. Um, so she's used to being behind the camera, not in front of the camera, but she's okay with it. She does pretty well. Um, but she's going to get into more of our videos, and I told her that she'd be a big help on Q&A Friday. So hopefully every Friday going forward she'll be a part of that. So thanks everybody for those questions, those comments, and everything that you guys sent to me. I was literally checking comments and emails and messages for like, I don't even know, three or four straight hours. So it's become a lot, but I promised you guys I'd get to each and every one, and if I miss you, please let me know right away. So thanks again for all that, guys. I'm gonna show you guys what I've been doing for the last two hours, and we had a big, big sales weekend here. Um, a lot of people ask if this is what I really do, and I don't know how I would be able to make these videos if this isn't what I did for a full-time job day and night. So let me show you guys. Um, I've been working on it for a while. Um, there's some packages here, about eight or 10 going out here. Um, Got a bunch of items here that need to go out. We got one shirt, two shirts, three shirts, four shirts. Um, sold this, I picked this little brother. These are great, these little label makers. We sold this, uh, got it at a yard sale for 50 cents and it sold for $19.99. Pretty good, doesn't have any labels in it. I let the guy know, he was cool with it, he bought it. A few of my iPods that I had, probably got like one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven orders for those. Um, one of my regulars bought a few, so eight orders. Four shirts, there's 12. The label maker's 13. I've already packed up uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten orders, so that's 23. Um, I've got about, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 more here that I gotta pack up. We'll get to about 40 before tomorrow. Um, I know at the office, I think my sister-in-law to be's got about 30 orders, I think. So we're around 70, and by the time we wake up tomorrow, at least another five, if not 10. So we'll be about 80 orders for the weekend since Friday. We packed up around three o'clock Friday, four o'clock Friday. So 24, so in 48 plus six, about 54 hours. Tomorrow will be, you know, around 60 some hours. We'll have done 80 to 85 orders, I hope. So not too bad of a weekend for eBay and Amazon. I've got like three or four people I've got to meet locally for orders off Craigslist and Facebook groups. So yes, the answer, long story short, is this is what we do. Literally 25 to 30 orders um, per day between Friday, Saturday. Um, Mondays I have big days. I'll probably do 30 or 40 orders tomorrow on Monday. And Tuesdays will be slow. But we literally sell 800 orders a month eBay and Amazon. So you guys can do the math on, you know, average price is $25 an order. On Amazon, average price on eBay is probably more like 15. So we're at like a $20 average. Um, between the two platforms, we'll do, you know, I don't know, 18 to 20,000 a month. Um, and that doesn't include my uh, local sales, Craigslist, uh, Facebook groups, and I have a few customers. I don't, I don't put them on eBay or Amazon. I just message them and they take the items directly. So this is what we do. Um, so I'm gonna get back to packing. I had to get these 10 or 15 orders packed. That way we're not cram tomorrow, we're not crushed, we're not busy behind the ball. Um, no Goodwill Outlet haul tomorrow. Uh, Monday, if you guys haven't seen my videos before, worst day for Goodwill Outlets. Uh, everybody that's sellers, flea marketers on the weekend has sold off their inventory. They wanna come back and re-up their inventory. 
So they are all there on Mondays. It's super packed, super busy. I hate dealing with it on Mondays. I'll go back Tuesday. Um, tomorrow, I'll probably stick local. I may hit up the thrift stores I hit last week. I had some really good luck in the thrift stores. I did really good. I got that polo. That's one of the shirts that sold. I bought it for like $4. It sold for $24. Um, and a few other items I sold out of thrift store. So I may go back to those tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I'm going to get back to packing. And uh, I have, man, I don't know, about another half hour. So I'm going to get that done right now. All right, guys. So got all that packing done. Only got a couple packages left. I love to do packing and shipping on Sunday nights because you can't be out shopping. You can't be sourcing. Um, typically, Sunday is our relaxed stay home day. Anyhow, I didn't even leave the house today. Like literally didn't go anywhere. Um, so there's no better, you know, thing to do on a Sunday night while we're watching TV or watching a movie, eating dinner. Just get all the packing and shipping done. That way when you wake up on Monday, you're not overwhelmed with all the shipping from Friday afternoon, Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, and into Monday morning. Um, tomorrow, get up, 10, 15 orders, you know, pack and ship those in 30, 45 minutes, move on. Um, so that's what I like to do on Sunday nights. There's no point in trying to get it all done on Monday morning. Silly. Um, so a lot of you guys asked me in the Q&A, and I figured I'd just put it in a video rather than answer it directly, and I, and I got a few emails about it as well. Um, what are some of the most unique items I've bought, or some of the unique items I have in stock right now, that you wouldn't think of buying or, or trying to resell as much as, you know, some of the other items? So I pulled together a few items that we've bought recently, and they're either listed, we haven't listed them, or a couple of these have actually sold. They'll be shipping out in the morning. Um, but let me show you guys some of this stuff and hopefully this will give you some good ideas and some things to look for. Um, with the holidays and the end of the year coming up and seasonal, Halloween's coming soon, always look for cool Halloween decorations. And this is a cool, just a little, it's kind of heavy. It's like a, a stone metal-ish type hand. These kind of things sell great. They're $10, $15 items. You can find all kinds of Halloween decorations. Um, my mom actually found this at a yard sale. Um... Noel Angels for Christmas. This is probably going to sell for $10 or $12. It's pretty cool. She paid 50 cents for both of these. So a dollar. Just things to look for. Um, let's see what else we got here. I found this at the Goodwill bins. So I probably paid a quarter for it. It's a gingerbread man mini cake mold. Rubber mold. It's just a rubber mold. Paid a quarter for it at weight. Put this up. Now we've had this one. I don't know why this never got listed. This has been in our big pile of inventory. I'm going to have them list this tomorrow. I think I'm going to put it up for like 10 bucks. So pretty cool. Uh, cake baking stuff is really, really hot. You can do really good with that kind of stuff. Um, so keep an eye out for that. Like the little, the little squeeze things, the custom tools that they use for making cakes, the pans, the molds, all that stuff. Super, super good. Um, these are some wood carving tools for uh, for craft makers, and I got these at a yard sale for fifty cents. And I think this set's probably worth about twelve to fifteen dollars. So, look for custom tools. You know, anything you see a handyman or a an, a wood sculptor or, or anything like that. Look for those kind of things. They super 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 sell good. Um, let's see what else we got here. European converter pack. We've had this for a while. I thought about keeping it. I think I'm going to sell it. But if I did sell it, uh, I think this came from, uh, where did this come from? This came from the Salvation Army. And I got this on half off day. I think I paid like $2. It was marked 4 or 5 I paid 2 or two fifty dollars for it. Um, this would sell if I choose to put it up for about $15 to $20. I think I want to keep it. We're eventually going to go on a honeymoon to Europe, and I just, for some reason, think I want to keep this. This basically turns all of your normal charger plugs into, I don't have any here, but normal charger plugs into the European plugs. So it's got French, Spanish, Italian, German, UK, multinational, all kinds of different plugs. So it's kind of cool. If I did sell it, though, $15.20, I paid like $2.50 for it. So if you can look for things like that, they sell really good. Um, golf is a huge, huge category on eBay, and golf balls. These are SpongeBob golf balls. I paid a dollar for them. I remember exactly where I got these out of a uh, yard sale, and um, probably could sell these for about fifteen bucks. People collect golf balls, and if you can get, you know, Nike golf balls or um, any of the high end, the Ping or the any of those kind of golf balls, Wilson, anything like that, uh, regular golfers just love it. So if you can pick up. Uh, brand name golf balls or collectible golf balls with sports teams on them or Spongebob or anything cool. Golf balls sell really, really good on uh, eBay. I actually heard a story of a guy out in Arizona. I think he actually was featured on eBay. 
he collected golf balls from his local pond, lake, big area. People would golf from this area and they would, it was out in the desert and it would, there was like one man-made pond. People would hit golf balls out there. He literally took this, this basket thing, I don't know, he collected all these golf balls, took them back to his garage. He had a high pressure little machine, one of those tumbler machines. He'd throw the golf balls in, he'd clean these golf balls up, he'd repackage them and he'd sell them and he was killing it. When I read that story, it must have been a couple years ago on eBay, uh, I think his eBay store was doing like half a million dollars a year in sales. The guy was literally selling dozens and dozens and dozens of boxes of golf balls a day. So golf balls are huge. This is a super cute dog dress. Now I have a friend, in addition to this, this dress, another velour one that I got, but uh, these dog clothes, I can't, I can't even tell you how good. This dress would sell for like 10 bucks. It's a dog dress. Same with baby doll clothes and Build-A-Bear clothes. You guys have heard me talk about the Build-A-Bear stuff. Um, any of this, you know, little doll up stuff or stuff for dogs, anything you can do dress up with, whether it's a doll or a dog or a, a Build-A-Bear, stuff sells so good. If you can get it cheap, if you can find this stuff at yard sales, you can go out looking for it. You can make an ad to buy this stuff on Facebook groups or Craigslist. There's a ton of ways to get this stuff. So um, definitely look for dog clothes, dog outfits, Look for Build-A-Bear outfits and accessories and look for anything for baby doll stuff. Super cute stuff that girls can do dress up with. Stuff ships quick, stores easy, lightweight, and sells at really, really good profits. Especially when you're buying stuff like this for a quarter and reselling it for ten. Or getting a box of Build-A-Bear accessories for a couple of bucks that you can put them up, you know, each one for six, eight dollars and make thirty, forty dollars on a box. So... Um, just something you don't normally think about. These are items that wouldn't normally cross your mind. Maybe if you saw them, you'd buy them. Maybe not. But now you know to get them. Golf stuff, dress-up stuff, European stuff, uh, seasonal stuff, bakeware, um, the wood sculpting tools, anything like that. Specialty stuff, niche stuff. It's all stuff you got to keep your mind open to. Uh, a lot of things that I do when I'm out looking is if I see something that I'm not sure about, I do take risk and buy a lot of it. But if I don't, I make a little note in my phone or on my notepad that you see me carrying around all the time to look it up later and investigate it and research it and learn. When I'm laying in bed on my computer, I do this a lot. I research a lot of items that I passed on to try to figure out which ones I should have bought, which ones I shouldn't have bought. And that helps me learn a lot about you know categories that I wouldn't otherwise purchase items from or that I would pass on and continue to pass on. So hopefully that helped you guys, give you some new ideas. Make sure you're making that master list somewhere in your notepad on your phone or on your written notepad or on a spreadsheet on your computer. List all these items I give you guys in my videos. Make categories, make rows, make columns, whatever it is, and list these items and eventually it'll become second nature. You'll remember them and you'll be able to spot them and find them anywhere that you go. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Like I said, it is Sunday. Tomorrow is Monday, a new week, new chance to make money. Um, no haul video tomorrow because of the Goodwill outlets being packed. I'm not going to do it. Not going to go there and fight those people. I'll go Tuesday so we have a haul video then. Uh, for tomorrow, going to try thrift shops. Like I said, uh, we'll see what happens. I'm not going to promise anything. I hope I can make it out to them. Uh, we'll see, but we'll definitely have a great video for you tomorrow. I'll see if I can... If I can get Kate to do a video tomorrow with me. We'll see. We'll see. Um, no promises on that either, but shh, we'll see if we can get her in on one. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this video, please press the like button. Uh, share it with anybody that you think might be interested. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Uh, it means a lot to me to see all the new subscribers. That way I know you guys are interested in seeing more videos in the future. Um, keep the comments and questions coming. I'll answer them as quickly and as efficiently as I possibly can. Uh, it's starting to be a ton of them. I'm going to have to definitely get Kate to help me answer a lot of questions. So you might get responses from her. I'll tell her to put her name at the end of it if she responds to anything. Um, and also, I'm being told that on my channel, uh, right up there where my name is, if you press the settings button and there's a drop down, there's a, like a box you can check, which I didn't know this until just the past couple of weeks. Uh, there's a little box you check and it will tell you to receive all notifications. And then every time that I put anything up, you'll instantly get that email uh, to whatever email you use to sign in to YouTube. So really important if you guys do that, that's probably going to help you guys more than me. Uh, you don't have to, but if you want to receive the notifications, that's how you'll do it. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with another video on Monday. Thanks again, guys. Social media and email is down there. If you do want to follow me or contact me directly on my email, which comes right to my phone. 
um, other than that, that's what I got for you guys tonight, and I will see you again tomorrow. If you guys have video suggestions, things you want to see, I used to get them from you guys. Uh, I haven't got too many lately, but if you have a video suggestion, please put that down in the comments or email it to me as well so I have some good content for you guys that you actually want to see because that's what I care about. I want to know what questions you guys have and what you want to see me uh, cover on this channel. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Have a great night.